Hello everyone and welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. In the last session, what did we do? We spent time with Nenji on his, uh, his time loop train. And uh, we also saw, was it Miura's first, first days in present day? Meeting up with Shu, going over to his house. And uh, yeah, lots and lots of good stuff. So... What are we on? We are on 22% of Remembrance, 36% of Destruction, and only 14% of Analysis, which, like, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> like, feels like we've read a lot of Analysis, and we're only a little bit over one-tenth of the way through it. Interesting. Right. Who shall we look at today? We left off with Muir, right? Yeah. Can't do him until we do uh, more Nenji. Who are we feeling? What is what is everyone what is everyone feeling today? I think let's jump back in with some Nenji. He's got the lowest percentage. Let's bring him up to speed a little. Okay, back at the train station. I guess when you put it like that. Maybe you've got is he, a point. Are we going to be trying to break out with him over I multiple stories? And think a little. Still, though. Uh, hey, are you even listening? I'm a bit wigged out right now. Uh, I'm back. <laughs> it's happening all over again. Guess who's back? Back again. Who even is that voice? How did I end up in this mess? Where the hell was I? It was like... I don't know. I feel like I saw it on some UFO show. Like an alien lab or something. My favorite kind of lab. Just like that. I was... butt naked too. So Kisaragi always gets on that train. And the train always crashes. Once she's on... She's basically dead. Yeah, so we gotta stop How that from happening. Can I make her understand? That's what that guy was saying. All this stuff about how I've gotta find a key. Yeah. No idea what the hell he's talking about. The key of breaking out of the loop, maybe? I gotta find a way out of this crazy loop. And right now, the only clue I got is this key thing. As a side note, if uh, if you guys are interested in time travel, time loops, that kind of thing. Highly recommend the show Dark on Netflix. Very, very good. Very, very complicated. You've got to really pay attention in that show, but it is one of the best examples of that kind of time travel, time loop stuff I have ever seen. Um, I've listened to everything, but one's still green, so is there more to l listen to? So Kisaragi always in the train always cr How the hell can I m What's this key thing they keep talking about? How the hell do I even... What do I do? Just go through everyone's goddamn pockets? Right, yeah, this is different. None of this shit makes sense. Okay, there we go. Hey, Kisaragi. You don't have some kind of key handy, right? What does that even mean? I have the key to my house. Is this it? <laughs> no. Nah, probably It's not, not. going to be a physical key. I think they mean... Hell, even I've got some house keys. I think they mean the key to saving her life. What's that kind of... Something along those lines, right? We gotta do something! The kaiju are coming! What? Really? Where? I mean, like... Not yet. <laughs> In about ten they minutes. here after we get on this train. How do you know that? Because I saw it. Uh... Shit, how do I explain? I mean, she knows about time travel at this point. So she knows that, like, that kind of thing can happen. So I feel like if you just literally just said, I'm stuck in a time loop, and this is what happens, and we both die, I feel like she would listen, surely? Because she knows that stuff is possible. It's not like you're going up to a random stranger who's got no concept of time travel and going, Oh my god, you'll never believe what's happening. You're acting kind of weird. Yeah, it's really getting to me. I'm already sick of all this shit. But what can I do? 
Just, just talk to her. Just tell her. Hey, where are you going? Hey, uh, you don't look so good. Thanks. Seriously, you're being really weird. Hey, it's everyone's well, favorite dickhead. Look what we got here. Ogata, most punchable face in the city. Great. This guy. What? You think you're better than me? Okay. Can we ask him about the key? We can. Hey, you guys got this key thing? What key? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know, man. Just whatever keys you got. I, I had my motorcycle key. But my teacher took it away. <laughs> yeah, boo freaking who. I think it's about time we settled our shit. You gotta chill out, man. Oh, yeah. Do you think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? Yes. No time for this crap. How about we talk this out? How about screw you? How about no? Hey! Come on, you're fighting again? Stop that! Hey, stay out of this, idiot. What do we got here? Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. <laughs> Didn't know you were into elementary schoolers. <laughs> Rude. That's messed up, man. I think he said that last time as well, right? You'd think that wouldn't get to me anymore. But hey, I'm still mad. <laughs> <laughs> I love how easily he does it every time. Uh, man, not again. Damn it. It's funny because like some parts are the same. Like some, some of the lines this guy and some of the lines Nenji is saying are the same. But there's also quite a few differences because he knows that he's living the same thing again. The train's already here. I'm gonna go. No. Hey, hold it. I mean, just... Hang on a sec. I really need you to stay off that train. Okay, seriously, what's going on? I don't even know how to describe it. Just... It's... It'll be really bad. Use your words, Ninji. That is so shit. Oh, just just trust me. Just trust me, it'll be bad. Literally, just say what you've experienced. Oh, my God. Look, they're coming. This train's gonna get derailed. It's gonna be a huge accident, okay? Okay, whatever. My train's about to leave. I'm being serious here. You can talk shit on me if you want, but believe me, just this once. Please, don't get on that train. <sighs> so, what do I do instead? Let's just get out of the station. We gotta get out of here while there's still time. If we can just get outside this place, that's gotta change something. Why would that change something? The kaiju will still attack. Burning city. Okay. The kaiju have indeed attacked. I love seeing them, like, in the background. That's so cool. Every time the kaiju come on screen, it's always, like, they always look really imposing. And they're so well done. Wrong. Sorry, my ankle hurts. Where? Let me see. Probably a sprain. Get down. Uh oh. indeed. Man, look at them. How are there so many? They destroyed my home. And they'll destroy 1985 too. We can't beat ourselves up over shit we can't change. Maybe there's no way out of this, but we'll never know if we don't. 
don't run. The attack has Come been on. added to the thought cloud. Yeah, keep going. Go, go. Oh, back here. Damn it. I'm back here. They showed up in the middle of the city. We couldn't make it out in time. Did you find the key? I don't give a shit about your key. <laughs> Who the hell are you? If you can do all this crazy time crap, then... Then save Kisaragi! Tell me Kisaragi. If you want to save her, you need to cooperate with me. I need you to find that key. I feel like the person he's talking to is Tomi. Then I'll help her. The, the truth? Maybe. Yes, I promise. Still, even if I was lying, you don't have much choice. All you can do is trust me. So find that key, and I'll see what I can do. Fine. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I just feel like the reason they're hiding the face might be because it's Tommy that he's talking to. Um, okay, so that was one outcome. Escape failed. Two event archives obtained. No mystery files. Okie doke. Shall we just go back in? Wait, is that... Oh, no, that's for you, Sarka. I thought that was, uh... The girl that we hadn't seen yet. Wait, where's he gone? Did I just go past him? There he is. Um... You know what? Let's just go back in. And keep bashing our heads against this. Until we figure the way out. Because, like, we're getting new information and stuff each time. I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and... Uh, hey. Okay, so that's all the same. The attack, that's new, right? It doesn't matter if we run. We never make it out in time. We only got a couple minutes until they ruin this place. Even if I told someone about this, nobody would believe me. Indeed. You're acting kind. Of okay, is there anywhere to the hey, right? Where are you going? Oh, hello. Isn't that? I feel like I know that guy she's with. Who is he? Why are you being all sneaky? Uh, I don't know. No reason. Wait. That's Iori over there. It is. What are you hiding from Iori? That's not it. What? Don't tell me you like Iori. Hey, it's not like that. <sighs> Isn't that... Karabe? Hey! I'm still talking to you here. <sighs> Lot of our main cast hanging around this station of death. <laughs> uh Hey! I'm still talking to you here. Sorry. <sighs> Stand on this side of you. Uh I'm trying to remember the dude's name on the right of Fuyusaka. It's it's the one from the past, or probably not, probably from the future, but it's the one that was uh pretending to be a girl. And it's actually a dude. But I cannot for the life of me... O Okina? O Okina? Or something? Maybe? Not sure. Oh well. Stop dodging the question. I want a real answer. For real. It's not like that. Then what is it like? What do you care? You're not my girlfriend. Why are you even getting so worked up? <sighs> it's not a big deal. I was just curious. Sheesh. Fancy meeting you here. Usami-chan. Iori, your place isn't this way, right? 
Where are you going with Okino-kun? Okino, yeah. I just got a thing over in Tsutsuji. There's the train. Let's go, Okino-kun. Uh-oh. This has gone poorly. Stop. Stop in the name of the law. Seriously. You're being really weird. Stop. Kizaragi's hanging around. It's kind of hard to talk to Fuyusaka like this. They got on the train. What do I do? Go after them? Uh, I guess. Hey, that's the wrong train. That's weird. I know they got Oh, on. that's the girl, right? That's um Mori Mori Mura. What's wrong? Are you looking for someone? Sure am, kid. You see a couple school kids uh, about my age? <sighs> a couple school kids? <sighs> Wait, what? what the hell? Was that like magic? Nah. The hell am I thinking? Huh. I'm because I'm pretty sure the kid is Chihaya, right? Chihaya Morimura, or have you pronounced that surname? Um And we know like, someone referred to Iuri as that surname as well, right? I'm wondering if they're all the same person. Ogata-kun, did you need something? Huh? Uh, yeah. Because the way he, like, he saw the kid and then it turned into Iori, maybe that's some kind of, like, fucking time glitch or something, and he was seeing how she used to look when she was a kid? I, I don't know, I don't know. We will see. Okay, look, I know this seems real sketchy. I mean, heck, I'm the guy who chased you onto a train here. But there's something I gotta know. Do you have some kind of key on you? I mean, not like a regular house key. It's supposed to be kind of special, except I don't really know how. <sighs> yeah, this still sounds pretty damn weird, huh? Hey! Come back! Uh, how'd you run again? Oh, there. <laughs> hey, hold on! Why? Why are you looking for something like that? Good question. Man, I don't know how I'd even explain it. You're looking for the key? Oh. <sighs> You're the one who originally carried it, young man. The school nurse? Wait, I was just talking to Fuyusaka. She's got, it's got to be the same person. <laughs> Wait a sec. Are you Fuyusaka's Fuyusaka Fuyusaka's got to grow or... up to be... Wait. Morimura. I know you. The League of Darkness. Wait, what? I remember now. You're one of the bad guys. This will only hurt for a moment. Hmm. Tokisaka Shrine, empty lot, 1976. Playing this late? Should you be out here alone, young man? I'm not playing! I'm training! Say, you must be Nenji Ogata-kun, right? How about I walk you back to your house? Uh... You're fishy, lady. <laughs> you talk like the League of Darkness people. They say all that same stuff when they kidnap kids. The League of Darkness? The bad guys from Common Hero, duh. Oh. Right, kids and their TV. I was gonna say. But you know, I think you're the real bad guy here. Someone who looks that good can't possibly be evil. Eight years from now, <laughs> right? <laughs> you're going to call a bunch of monsters and destroy the world. Wait, he is. I am not. 
I'd never turn to the side of evil. You're still going to do it whether you're good or evil. Sometimes things just happen. You can't trick me. I'm not Hold gonna it. get kidnapped. Little punk. Missed. Huh. Because Natsuno is supposed to be the one controlling them somehow, right? But he's the one that calls them? <sighs> that was close. I guess I just did a big lap around the block. What do I do? She even had a gun. She tried to shoot me. She really is from the League of Darkness. I gotta tell the police. Don't move. <laughs> You're a bad boy. <laughs> Say it again. It'll only hurt for a moment. <laughs> I've just implanted you with nano machines. It'll add onto the program inside you. The program? It's not a huge change. But it's something we'll need to fight back. And now, we can prepare our weapons. The Sentinels. Hmm. Man, that stinks. Uh, didn't I just get shot? Did you find the key? Is the key the program okay. inside him? I still don't know what's going on here. But getting shot made me remember something. She shot me back when I was a kid, too. You were shot. I'm going to need you to explain the situation. I was on the train, and the nurse from my school shot me. There were even other passengers around, too. No, wait. That was definitely Fuyusaka. She was all grown up, but I know that was her. Wait a moment. Okay, good. Confirmed then. Slow down. You're talking about trains. Where is this happening? It's the place you keep sending me back to. The train platform. And this happened when I chased Fuyusaka onto her train. <sighs> so you're looking for the key on a train platform? Well, yeah. Wait. You mean, you don't even know where you keep sending me back to? Okay, I see. <laughs> that means the person with the key is somewhere around there. You just keep looking. When do I get the explanation? Not today. <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Lady of the League. Ninja Ogata unlockable. Oh, so that would have been a that would have been a cutoff point. I wonder if we've done whatever we need to do to unlock the next section. Mystery files obtained two, updated three. I really wish I could scroll left here. It's interesting because the first one we did was the middle line, the escape failed, and then the next one we did was the top line and got Lady of the League. And I hadn't walked right. I didn't try walking right the first time. So I wonder if we had walked right, whether they would have been there and we could have done that one first. Or whether you had to do the escape failed one before you could do the Lady of the League one. Not sure. Not sure. Curious. Mystery files. Let's have a look-see, shall we? Uh, Nenji Ogata updated. When Ogata was seven years old, he was implanted with nano machines by Morimura while he was training to fight the League of Darkness in an empty lot next to Tokisaka Shrine, which is the time travel shrine. This is what allowed them to prepare Sentinels. Alright, and his dad is the owner or CEO or something of the company that is producing them. So in the future, I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's, uh... Like you inherit your father's company kind of deal, or whether he just works for it or what, but somehow he's probably in charge in the future. I don't know. I don't know. It's very, very curious. Uh... Wait, I could have sworn they said there was some other new stuff, but none of these none of the rest of them were glowing. Unless I'm being really blind. I'm pretty sure none of the rest of these were glowing. Huh. No, it's just Nenji. I could have sworn it said. Huh. 
Okay. Right, okay, here we go. Unlock condition. Destruction first area, Ashitaba City, wave five cleared. Which we've done. Nice. Cool, cool. That bumped him up to 37%. Okay, okay. I'm tempted to kind of just continue. But let's not. Let's not. What's this one? This is... Oh, okay. I actually have to continue with him to even unlock him. So I'll, I'll be quite far through Nenji's when Takatoshi's barely begun. He is now, like, one of the furthest progressed. Uh, let's leave him there for a bit. And uh, we got a pretty good link to Tommy from him. We've got a pretty good link to Fuyusaka from him. I feel like that's probably the best link, right? Given the whole Chihaya situation. So what did we last do? Ayuri Fuyusaka remembered the dream where she and Juro Karabe searched inside a UFO. The kaiju, disappearing civilians, the countdown. It all sounded like something from a sci-fi movie. Okay, let's learn more about Chihaya slash Ayori. Mm -hmm. Heading home, 1985. Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again. Oh. I don't see it. Right, this is the this is the one we got stuck on before. All of this we've seen. So many it's just looping, okay. Uh, what else? What's the new thing? Buried UFO. That's the new thing. A giant UFO buried underground. Was it a premonition? Oh, that's crazy. Maybe Nutchan's getting to my head. Once she starts talking about UFOs, you'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> she does love her Not UFOs. Her, you do. That is my favorite. The kitty. Big fan of that. Oh, Kitty's gone. I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You okay, is that? Too, right, Yuri -chan? Didn't it look the same? Yes. After this, you wanted to go to the wreck. Love is wonderful, Sami Chak. Even just watching from afar. About Amiguchi Kun. Okay, we've heard all of that. Let's just say they're not look. Romance aside. More treats. Let's do it. Good idea. Where should we go? Let's get sweets. It's a hot day today. Their place just got a new flavor. I wonder what it tastes like. Okay, we did both, didn't we? One of them got us a thing that allowed us to talk to the cat. I can't remember which we did. I can't. Well, I know we did both of them, but I can't. One of them was the wrong one. The one we did first didn't allow us to progress. The one we did second did. So I'm wondering if it's the other way around this time. But I can't remember which way it was. So let's go with crepes. I agree with Crepes sound good, Rick. Okay, off they go. Lovely jubbly. You didn't get your. How is? Not bad. Can't beat the banana and mayo though. Banana and mayo? What? Okay, this is new. Oh, what's the problem? It stopped me from fast forwarding gross, because it's new. Man. I think you're the only one who buys it. No way. It's so good. Banana the bananas, and mayo. The savory mayonnaise. Blending together to create the ultimate harmony of uh Baneo. I'd um do you think we'll put on weight? Mm, we did just. Okay, we've heard all that. Okay, I think that's looping now. Are you sending your love letter, Miwa-chan? I don't know. My fortune said bad luck this week, so. It's got 
strange taste in men, Miwako. That's mean. You should get a four-leaf clover, Yori-chan. Nice. I think this is what huh? we did last time and it's it didn't do anything, chan. right? Senpai's pretty cute too. He has a lot of secret admirers. Um... Even some of the that guy's shallower than a cookie pan. She's got nothing new to say. Man, all the guys at school suck. As for guys I like, I think I'm a Gucci Kun That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. You've got a string. There's not even one you might like? Even just what? They're not looking at her. Romance is- I'm still- Let's get more- hmm, maybe if we go the other way? But seriously, I'm starving. They did make us run a lot in PE today. Wait, this is different now. I'd love to go back to that- Wait, no, it's not again. <laughs> It's a hot... Oh, I can smell the crepes now. It's okay, now let's try going the other way then. We've had crepes. We all got the... Mm. At this point, we've hit up most restaurants. Okay, we got the lucky item. Does that do anything for I us? Love getting snacks after school. The cat's not there anymore, so we can't it's go that way. better than eating them at home. That's the magic. At this point, we've hit up most restaurants um, in town. Miwa chan, you should do it. Send your love letter. Huh? Why is this the? Why is this one so? Oh, is this new? Something new? Wait, I missed it. There was definitely the red thing appeared in the top right for a moment then. Don't forget, you got your lucky item today. Yeah, just tell him. Oh, stop. It's so embarrassing. I find this one scene so confusing to get through. But I do envy you, Yuri-chan. Never had issues with the other ones. Talk to Amiguchi-kun like it's no big deal. You two are chatting on lunch break, right? In the passageway? What about? Well, uh... Dreams? Strange dreams has been added to the thought cloud. Now where were we? Hmm. Amiguchi-kun and Kurabe-kun's dreams. They sounded a lot like mine. Mm, I'd like to talk to them about it. Maybe we're all connected. Ah, new stuff. Recall. The old building passageway. Karabi kun. Oh, Fuyasaka san. Sup, my dude? What brings you here? You weren't at your desk, so I thought I'd check outside. Are you waiting for Amiguchi-kun? Well, trying to. More trying to wait? <laughs> I'm sure that's what he'd want to do. But <laughs> I just want to play games. <laughs> I thought I'd ask to hang out at his place. You know, I've been thinking. I know we just met here at school, but it doesn't feel like it's for the first time. <laughs> Have we met somewhere before? A long time ago? Um, I don't think so. Oh. Fuyusaka's here too. Amiguchi-kun. Did you have another dream? You guessed it. It was crazy, man. I was in this tank thing with legs. <laughs> walking around, beating up monsters. Were you watching some sci-fi B-movie before bed? So you've been having dreams like that all this time? Oh yeah, especially lately. You too, right Karabe-kun? Mine was about a UFO. 
I went back in time using the UFO's transmitter. I have dreams like that all the time. But in my case, I think I'm too easily influenced by movies and stuff. Mm, don't be so sure. Why did you come here anyway? Don't tell me you're interested in our dreams. About that, the truth is, I've been having weird dreams too. It seems like they might be related, so I thought I should talk to you guys about it. Oh yeah? What kind of dreams? My dream, tell him. I think that was you in my dream, Amiguchi-kun. Are we going for a flashback within a flashback here? <laughs> Kaede River, Sumaya, Sumir Bridge, 2089. Very far in the, the future. The river bank looks so empty. There's no Century Tower. This must be before it was built. I went back 16 years. Looks like I'm the only one who made it. Huh. Were Jiro and Okinokun unable to escape? This must be around the time I was born. And I'm all alone. What am I supposed to do? Okay, so you were born around 2089. That's your original. Oh, fuck. Hello. God, I love those moments when a fucking mech spawns in. A sentinel. What is that? So she doesn't know what they are at this point. Sumire Bridge. Sumire, okay. Hold on! Um You're Chihiro Morimura, am I right? Who are you? I'm Tetsuya Ida. <laughs> I was sent here by the future you to the year 2089. The future me? She asked me to find you on Sumire Bridge 16 years prior and tell you about our battles. We'll defeat them this time for sure. It's getting noisy. I don't want to get caught. Let's get out of here. What about that thing? Are you just going to leave it here? Don't have much choice. <laughs> Gonna need it eventually. I'll worry about it later. For now, though, I think it's best you come with me. I. To be continued. Oh, that's sick. So that's proper confirmation. She is Chihiro. So she, she, she said she was born around 2089. At this point, she's already been to the future because she also said they went back 16 years. So she was in 2105 prior to that. Oh, man. Oh, my head. Okay, so. Ayori Fuyusaka is Chih Chihori. Ch Chihiri? Chihori? Ah, oh, my name. Name retention is poor. They are the same person. Shu Amaguchi is Tetsuya Ida. They are the same person. Okay. Who else is going to end up being someone else that we know? Unlockable, her next section. Uh, one mystery file obtained. Oh, when it says obtained, it probably means like a new one has appeared in red that you cannot unlock yet without a, without a point. Maybe that's what that means. I mean, let's just check, see if anything is glowing, but... Oh, it is. 2100s, never mind. The 2400 meter tall Century Tower is the city's symbol. Humanity is steadily progressing to a new stage, having made a break having made breakthroughs designing AI capable of emotion and space colony construction. Having made breakthroughs designing AI capable of emotion. That feels important. But that's after the 2060s where the city's in ruins. But this is like, it's only 40 years later, but it's completely fine. Like, it would not be completely fine if this has happened in the 2060s. So, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It comes down to how time travel works, I guess. 
Maybe the kaiju are working their way backwards through time. So they first came, they first arrived. I don't know, I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out later. It's, it, I'm very, oh, I love, I love it. I love all the questions this game gives me. It's so good. Okay, so. Unsteal three mystery files. <laughs> well, that wouldn't have taken long. Currently at 13. That seems like a very, that seems like a condition that everyone would have met by the time they got 42% into her story. All right. Hot damn. Hot damn, that is good. That is very good. Uh, okay, so it's got to be Juro or Shu following on from that. And I'm thinking Shu. Shu Amaguchi recalled the time he met Kaitaro Miura in his dream, as well as a heart-stopping memory with Tomi Kesaragi. Right, yeah, where he told her that he was into her. And that he was putting on this, like, cool dude persona to try and impress her. Shu Amaguchi, Tetsuya Ida. Tell me more. All right. <laughs> 